Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Antul Geschenkron and Fischer. The game was played in Vienna in 1935. Antul Geschenkron had white pieces and he started with e4. Fischer played d5. The game is starting like Scandinavian defense, but it will transpose to Karo Khan. Pawn takes pawn on d5 c6 and white didn't capture the pawn d4 was played pawn takes pawn on d5 bishop to d3 knight to f6 c3 knight from b to d7 knight to f3 e6 white castled kingside bishop to e7 Queen to e2, Fischer castled king side 2, Bishop to f4, a6, Knight from b to d2, b5, Knight to e5, threat is Knight to c6, Perhaps black should capture the knight on e5. Rook to e8 was played. And now knight to c6 is a good move. White played knight from d to f3. Bishop to b7. And we have reached the most critical position of the game. It is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for white. Are you ready? Did you find the best move? White sacrificed the knight on f7. Did you find this move? is black to move. Perhaps queen to b6 should have been considered. The most obvious move is king takes knight and that is what Fischer played. How should white continue? Antol already knew what to do in this position when he sacrificed the knight. And the move is queen takes pawn on e6 check. Well, Fischer captured the queen. It is white to move and to checkmate in one. Can you see it? Knight to g5 checkmate. Unbelievable. How can someone beat Fischer like this? What is the secret of Anto's success? Did he prepare for this game? Maybe he did. This is the secret. Robert James Fischer, former world champion, was born in 1943. And this game was played in 1935. Still, this was a very nice game, wasn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.